Alright guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. This is my new to me HE53 uh, V8 540i 6 speed manual. I know that was a lot, but these are very special cars just because of all those things. So it's the V8, the 4.0, the 6 speed manual, um, and it's a special VIN number designation for HE53, and that signifies it's the V8 in the manual in 1995 model. Those are the only ones with that HE53 uh, VIN number tag. So, yeah, this is the new car. I bought it for way too much money. It's gold. It needs a clutch. Uh, it needs some other stuff. And I'm going to take you guys with me to the shop to find out what exactly it needs. And to get the clutch sorted out, I did order a single mass uh, flywheel conversion kit for it. So it's actually from an E39 M5. And we're going to get that put on and I'll take you guys on that journey with me. Okay. So sketchy driving this down the street. Oh man. It just wants to slip the whole time. Getting up to speed is terrifying. So you can see. Let me see if I can do this. So if I press any gas, so right now I'm, I'm fine. If I do this, that's all slip. That's crazy. But I'm, I'm able to kind of be at speed, I guess. I have to be in the right lane. It's like so bad. So bad. And the dude who owned it before him owned this car uh, for several years and said the clutch was going out if you floor it, but not if uh, you're, you're taking it easy on it. So the guy who bought it from him bought it for about like a week. And he was, I guess, you know, a teenager or kid or something. And he, uh, somehow the clutch now does not hold at all within the matter of like two weeks. I don't want to blame the kid that was going out before, but like, yeah. It doesn't matter anyways. Neither here nor there. Either way, it would be changing. But it would be nice to not be like, uh, crapping myself trying to get there. So, we'll see. Hopefully it makes us there and update you guys on all the issues because it does leak it leaks quite a lot actually what does it leak i have no idea the guy told me power steering fluid um i have a feeling it leaks oil too uh it does leak a lot so the, the car has 250,000 miles but the engine only has about 130,000 miles on it because it got recalled by bmw in 1999 and they put a new motor in it at like 119k miles so it's not that old. It's like maybe 130k miles on it, and that's pretty good for one of these motors because these last to 250k all day long. That's why I bought it. Uh, but thankfully, that means it shouldn't need a rebuild on the motor anytime soon, which is great news because I really didn't want to do it. All right, so we made it. I didn't think we we're gonna actually make it to be honest, uh, but we did. Thankfully, I didn't have to use a tow truck. But hey, we're here. So I'm gonna go inside and get situated and drop off the car. Uh, I'll see if Steve wants to put it on a lift right now. Steve is the mechanic. Um, if he wants to put it on a lift, I'll try and get you guys some video footage of all the sh stuff wrong with it. So, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So I just got the E34 back. Uh, it's been about a week and a half now uh, getting the clutch put in and turned out we needed to do the clutch master cylinder because apparently I switched to the E39 M5 um, clutch and flywheel so I went single mass apparently you need to change the uh, master cylinder to reflect that with the E39 master cylinder otherwise uh, the engagement was off so I, I just had that done as well but now we are finally driving the E39 M5 which is great because I've never driven it before this is actually really my first real drive with the car. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. And I'm trying to shift while I'm talking, but it's going okay. I'm shifting with my left hand, so that's kind of strange. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm going to get some uh, fluid and stuff for the car. I'm gonna do the, the, what is it called? The gas cleaning fluid stuff. And I'm also gonna go wash the car. Alright guys, so I'm at the car wash right now, and don't worry, it's automatic, but it's touchless, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's the only one in the area like this, but uh, 
all you got is this thing that just sprays high pressure fluids at your car and there's no brushes which is kind of cool so no scratches for me even though this car is pretty like toasty so i already has a series of scratches that i need to buff out but that's it for a different video uh let me go over real quick what i got for this old car maybe it will help maybe it won't uh, it doesn't really need it but i'm gonna do it anyways the fuel system cleaner i use the lucas one i just like it personally i normally use their small one but since i don't know the state of what gas is in there and the fuel system and all of that i just got the deep clean one and i'm gonna throw this little one in just for safe measure it's gonna be very clean after this so as you guys can see it has like the different stages of washing i don't know why i'm so mesmerized with a with a uh, car wash it's just a car wash but i really want one of these like if i ever became rich or something off of youtube uh i'll probably buy one of these and put it in my like backyard or something and uh it's so much easier than washing it yourself well i just found out some lovely news while i was in the car wash um, It's dripping from the inside. Oh, that's a lot of water. Okay, well, one more problem to fix, that door leaks. And I'm now getting a headache from this car already. Uh, so, so far, that's the things that have gone wrong with it is I bought it knowing it needs a clutch. I changed the clutch with a single mass, a flywheel and uh, some m5 racing clutch there's a new problem with the power steering line leaks a ton of fluid i ordered a new part for that that's on the way a bunch of sensors don't work and to top it off now we have a leak and i paid way too much for this car especially with all of these issues and the fact that it's gold whatever that is what it is and I will try and fix as much of it as I can. Well, I will fix as much of it as I can. Oh yeah, the door locks don't work either. I just remembered that. If anybody has suggestions on what to do with the door lock, for some reason, the driver's side doesn't lock, but the passenger side locks all the other doors except for the driver's door. The driver's door is like disconnected or something. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing updates on this E34. It's gonna be a whole project. I have uh, new stuff coming for it, new headlights. I'm gonna do the front end. I really do want to paint it and if you guys have any color suggestions that would be really great I would love to hear them because I'm kind of torn I wanted to do like a red um, I know there's a special kind of red I forgot the name of it off the top of my head um, Calypso red that's it that the E35 guys do uh, I like Calypso red um, I like the bright red uh, I think it's called Xeno Rot red it's pretty nice but I'm also thinking about going that purple route the uh, techno violet purple but if you guys have any other suggestions or have a preference between the two, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, I definitely want to get it painted. I'm just not sure uh, the timeline of that. But there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be done. I just found out the aux fan doesn't work either. And that kind of explains why the AC cuts out when you're driving. Uh, or not when you're driving, when you're standing still. Uh, when you're driving, the AC works pretty well, actually. Um, I found some oil lines that are leaking. That's going to be in another video, too. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a neglected car. Uh, it has a lot of potential. I'll tell you that the body's straight the motor pulls good The motor doesn't have that much miles on it transmission doesn't grind or anything like that, especially after this uh, Clutch we put in it drives pretty well and actually I'm gonna end the video there and I'll actually I'll give you guys some pull videos. I think that would be appropriate. So like I'll show you guys the engine pulling um, I'll do like a 0 to 60, I guess, uh, and I'll just call that the end of the video. So if you did like this video, I want you guys to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to, of course. Uh, and let me know uh, what you guys wanna, want me to do with this uh, E34 and what color you guys think I should do. Zero to 60. If you think about it, it's crazy, actually. I think it's rated for 6 seconds, 0 to 60, which... A 30 year old sedan, not 30, I don't want to say 30, it's like 22 years old or something. So 25, between 22 and 25, I don't know why my math is 95. So, like 25 years old actually, close to that. Anyway, that's really not that bad. Oh, please don't hit me, man. All right, cool, thank you. It's really not that bad. And it, it's got some pickup. The suspension, I feel like, definitely needs, because I've had other E34s that handle way better. Like, I had a 535, a red one. Um, and that thing handled amazing but this you know it's a little bit boaty 
but it is the factory suspension. I'm pretty sure the shocks need a replacement. Probably control arms are a little bit worn and could use like what the bushings. What do they call those? The moose head bushings. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, pulls great. It just needs those little things, and those little things add up. And I'm definitely going to be in the hole on this one. But I've been wanting an HE53 for a while, so it makes sense. Um, or at least in my head it makes sense. Probably financially it doesn't make zero sense. Anyways, thanks for staying tuned. Uh, thanks for watching is a better way of saying it, I guess. Thanks for watching. And there will be more videos to come.